is going on guys? It's your boy Soso here, bring you guys another video here today. Bring you guys a Photoshop tour how to create your own cool manipulated summertime sort of, I don't know what my title is, video here today. As you can see my example, it's, okay, so someone in my last video was like, hey, can you do some manipulation kind of stuff? And I'm like, I kind of suck at it, but like I'll give it a shot and I came up with this just from like the random other manipulations that I've done in the past with like trees, leaves, it's kind of like my forte at the moment, only thing I can go for right now. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, the trees, I, do they look summertimey to you? Because I looked up coconut trees and I got these, right? I thought coconut trees, because like I, you know, palm trees are just palm trees and I feel like I use those all the dang time, so I wanted to do some, a different kind of tree. So I went with coconut trees, I thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, why are there clouds in the trees? Don't explain it, it just looks cool. Um, the birds, really cool as well. Uh, just so you guys know, these are all the socks I'm going to be using in today's video. Video, besides this one actually this is the first tree that I was gonna go for but I was like I really don't want to pencil this out kind of thing you know what I mean so there's a coconut tree they're gonna be using and here's the uh, a bird uh, and there's more birds and then there's our cloud right so there's only pretty much four stocks gonna be using in today's video I will give you guys those immediately so if you check the description down below right now you'll be able to see that the link is already there but of course 200 likes on the video equals a secret download below and I know you guys are probably want this one pretty pretty much you know a lot better or it's, it's just you kind of want to learn from yourself as well including a video but it's also a lot cooler to see the actual construction within the layer mode or the layer styles or the layer period in Photoshop so anyway let's go ahead and get this thing going um so yeah let's, it's, it's pretty fun it's pretty much a nice little simple 2d kind of um kind of text right with a simple uh, projection or excuse me percept what the heck is the word uh what's the word to use it's like let's find out which one is it please assess to me okay perspective i don't know why it's a projection it was perspective simple pro uh, perspective right and then just a nice little weird kind of like color for the actual text itself a really weird little pattern in it why not and then of course like really nice cc co uh, color correction lighting effects to kind of just make it pop and look more cooler and overall the kind of like simple little blur thing in the background as well just kind of fill more space if you wanted to even fill more space overall besides just having the focus in the middle why not put some stuff on the edges as well just another idea to kind of run your mind a little bit so anyway i'm pretty much done talking let's go ahead and get this freaking thing going okay so I believe the first thing we should do is add the text in. I believe I did use, uh, please. Okay, keyboard. Okay, so I believe the uh, the font that I am using right now is called Long Haul. Uh, so pretty much it's spelt Long H A U L. I pretty much got them from Defont.com. You can probably see it or probably know about it if you guys looked at my best fonts for Designer 2017 video. And so pretty much I'm just gonna kind of get a nice size for the word summer. Correct, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and really quickly just rasterize it right now, right? So this will allow me to actually use the Control T command, which is of course bring up the free transform, right click it, and then use the perspective. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this top right corner here, and I'm just gonna move my mouse up. I'm gonna click and move my mouse up, right? I'm gonna take this bottom right corner and move my mouse to the right. That way we kind of get this really cool, simple like projection where it kind of looks like it's coming from, you know, it looks like the point of view is coming from a course of a smaller point of view and coming closer because it's getting bigger toward the edge. So that's what I want to have. And you could, you do have to have a rasterize to do that. And other, otherwise you won't be able to actually do that with a text layer. So otherwise just go ahead and do that. All right. Um, I'm gonna quickly change my color to like, I don't know, like a, like a not so ugly color. Let's just go with like that for now. Nice little simple green. It doesn't really matter what color you're gonna choose. Uh, really quickly as well, before I actually do that, I'm gonna make a new layer right above my actual background layer. By the way, my background layer hex code is, what is it? A C F D four D eight. So if you guys wanna use the same exact one, go ahead and do so. Um, pretty much, I'm gonna change my foreground color to white, which it already is. Make a new layer like I already did. And then a nice soft brush, right nice, a pretty big brush actually, and hit it right in the middle. Yeah, let's make it even bigger. So a pretty big brush hit right in the middle, lower the opacity down, and I'll call that okay. Okay, so now we have our text, and now I'm gonna throw in our first actual stock here, which is going to actually be the coconut trees that I'm gonna be using for today's video, uh, for the trees wise. Um, okay, so my placement here, I'm gonna go ahead and sort of just kind of fiddle with it a little bit. I wanna make sure I have enough room here, which I do. Is this good enough here? I'm gonna have to pencil that out. Okay, so the hardest part about this, for me, uh, when it comes to maybe, uh, manipulations or 
or whatever you would call this, right? Sort of like a blending of layers. I would just call it manipulation, of course. Um, so when, I, when it comes to this, it's the construction that makes it look what it's best, right? So in my example that I have here, you kind of sort of see that the E right here, kind of, or the E, the M, the simple shadows are very, very easy to kind of see when it's done. However, it's very difficult when you, you know, you're of course working on it from start to finish kind of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and do, <clears throat> I'm going to just make sure like, move this over a bit more. I'll see like right there. All right, cute. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna pen tool out. I'm gonna lower this just a little bit more with coconut tree. Pen tool out the E. And excuse me if I'm pen tooling is not the greatest at the moment, just because I wanna make sure I actually get this whole thing in a pretty short video. However, I'm just gonna pen tool this E. It's not gonna be too difficult, right? Just pen tool it out here. Not the entire thing, however. I'm gonna leave this bottom part here. So it's gonna look like this leave is gonna go over, or excuse me, under this part and then come back under, or excuse me, over this E. It, realistically, it's over and under. So uh, the, right here is gonna be over and it's gonna look like it's gonna go under because we're gonna delete it. But not exactly delete it. We're gonna show you guys something besides using the actual deletion tool or make selection delete it. Uh, it's more or less gonna be a, uh, sort of like a masking. If you guys know what that masking thing is right here, this masking selection. Let's go ahead and get this E nice and cut out really quick. Okay, so now the E is all selected and pretty much what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take this masking selection, right? So you guys know what this does. If you guys do not, it brings another box right next to your thumbnail and in this white box, you're gonna be using things like this. So if I right click on my pencil selection, make selection, press OK right usually i would tell you guys to press delete however in this little white box here make sure you're on your brush or it doesn't really matter it's going to tell you uh it's automatically going to switch your colors to white pure white and pure black and pretty much if you fill in uh white it's going to fill in of course white but if you fill it in black it's going to fill in like an eraser which pretty much gets rid of whatever's on the layer so if you fill in with white it's going to fill it in with uh, nothing. It's going to kind of color it in if you guys want to. If you fill it in with a black, and I'm pressing Alt backspace and Control backspace to kind of scroll through or show you guys really quickly. But that's how you guys will do it because if you don't do it that way, you're going to find yourself in a lot of trouble when you because it's kind of like manipulation. You need to know kind of like where your stuff is going. If you erase it, you kind of maybe need to redo it again. You know, one of those kind of things. So as you can see, it looks like it's going under the E and then coming back over the E, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so really quickly as well, and if you find yourself with a stock that kind of looks something like this, right? I looked up a transparent stock, a transparent uh, coconut tree or whatever I googled, right? However, it was transparent enough. It got rid of most of the stuff that you would kind of, you know, have to pen tool out or whatever. However, you still have these little white spaces in between. Now, I'm not sure if I even told you this before. However, I will show you guys this right now. If you guys go to select color range, uh, pretty much this is a thing where, uh, oh, hold on, let's make sure I select this select color range now if i click on this white here you'll see this down here where it's pretty much saying i'm going to select all the white in this entire banner design right I'm, I'm selected on this layer though so if i ever delete it it's going to delete there but i'm going to select all the white in this entire banner design it's going to get rid of it for me if i just lower my featherness down it's maybe like let's say uh, 60 or so press ok i'm gonna go back to here though and just fill this in with white or excuse me black I'll click it a couple times and you can see it gets rid of all the white within the entire in the entire stock photo and so it's if it's one of those things if you want to select a, a one color exactly and then delete it entirely so if it was white in this case for the actual little fill-ins here do that i promise you that's the probably the fastest way of doing it besides using the uh magic wand tool and selecting each little spot i probably saved one of your guys lives today and I, i'm very glad that i did so the second thing i'm going to do <laughs> is I'm gonna make a simple sort of like I'm gonna cut this out I want to see more of this M here So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort of flirt with you know sort of not having the best pen tool action However, the same thing acquires here and I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did here This looks like maybe it belongs, but it doesn't I pencil this out So it all does depend on time and how much time you actually spend on trying to make the manip manipulation Look believable is I think that's one of the uh, one of the goals in manip manipulation um, I'm just uh, just trying to make sure I get a pretty good sort of thing. So I was kind of flirting with this sort of I, like in my head. I'm like I I know what a coconut tree looks like, right? It sort of looks like multiple sort of triangular triangular shapes in a in a chain of some sort, right? So I'm gonna sort of flirt with that pattern when I actually do this myself for this. 
So I'm not penciling anything exactly. I'm more, more or less, I'm kind of designing my own little tree pattern here. I don't want to go too far down because the whole point is to get rid of that. So let's say like that and we come like this, right? And then we'll go all the way around because I want all this gone. This tree little stem too. And I want all this gone. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to go ahead and just pen tool or excuse me, close the pen tool. Right click, make selection, and then fill this in on this little layer here with black. There we go. All right, so if I just make this opacity higher again, you'll see that I cut it out all this entire part here. So if I want to show you guys, if I just take my brush and then I color it in with white, you'll see it comes back up. So I color, I cut all this entire part out. And if I want to, I can just take my eraser or excuse me, my brush, change it to black and I get rid of it. But I cut this entire piece out. So nice, it looks like it's more, you can see more of the M. I could probably do a lot more. Maybe I can cut this like part out here. However, to save time and kind of get the point across, that's sort of how I want it, but I'm going to do the, at least the R, right? Because we need to show the R a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and just lower the opacity down once again. And then I'm just going to pencil this out and I'm going to find a spot. And I might just speed this up because it's going to be a little bit longer because I don't want it to be incredibly disgusting looking. But, you know, at the same time, it's a tutorial. However, the purposes are to at least show you guys the process, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just pencil this out a little bit. And uh, we're going to see where we go from here. Okay, not terrible. It looks okay. It looks good enough. However, it is it's just this part right here because the, the whole transaction or trans uh, transition. There we go. Um, there we go. It just I don't know. It just doesn't look incredibly perfect, but it'll we'll kind of make sure we kind of put no focus over there in that little spot. So I want to at least continue, of course, right? So I believe I can go ahead and just start adding another stock, and I believe the next stock I'm going to add in will be this little bird here. To show you guys how to actually get place little maybe animals around your uh your little text here i'm going to shrink this bird however to a pretty good size is that too big that's a little bit too big we'll make it like something around there okay so with this little bird here i'm going to show you guys this really quickly so if you press Control j that's how you make a duplicate right i'm gonna go ahead and rash this layer really quickly that way it'll allow me to press Control u on my keyboard which will bring up the hue and saturation now the fastest way to make something black is just taking your lightness and just t turning it all the way down to negative 100. So if I just move this really quickly, you'll see that this is now black. And the reason why we did that is because uh, manipulations, of course, you need shadows. Of course, I'm going to add some over here in a second, but you're going to have to just do this pretty much filter, blur, Gaussian blur. If you're using a, a stock photo, that is use maybe like two pixels or so. That's pretty good. And then press OK. And then just lower your passing down to whatever you believe is necessary. I'll say 20 is pretty good enough so you can actually see. Oops. You can actually see the actual uh, f uh, the shadow here. So I think that looks pretty good. So as I said shadows before, I'm going to go ahead and add some shadows to my little coconut tree here. So I'm just going to throw this behind, or excuse me, below the layer of the coconut trees, which is right here. I'll just make this red for you guys. So under the layer there, I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to use a black, so a pure black here. And I'm going to use my brush, right? I'm going to use a nice zero hardness brush, a nice soft brush. I'm going to go in and I'm just going to sort of flirt with it a little bit. So I'm going to just start adding some stuff here. I need to, of course, add some here and shadows need, you know, shadows there, shadow here, maybe like here now as well. And then like right there. And that's pretty good for now. So on this layer, I did sort of, you know, have, I have a lot more uh, brushes where I don't want them. So I'm just going to take my eraser here and just go back in and sort of make sure I have them where I want them not so dramatically hit super hard get the point across that there is shadows there and that way you don't have to worry about it too much i can lower my pass just a little bit so as you can see it sort of adds even more depth to what you know you had originally so if without the shadow it sort of looks flat but with a little bit of shadow which is pretty much brush hits right black brush hits it looks a lot better so i think i'm good with that so cool let's add in our second stock here our third stock uh we're gonna add in some clouds right and like I said, do not ask me why I put clouds. It just, it just happened. So, okay. Control T. We're going to just lower these a little uh, farther down a little bit. We're actually going to put these. Let's just put. Eh, let's make it a little bit more smaller. Right. I'll say like right there. 
I'll make another duplicate by using alt and just dragging it over. I'm going to put these below the trees, uh, which will be right, right here, right? Below the trees. I'll make it a little bit bigger, right? I'm going to make another alt drag duplicate. And I'm going to put this below the text. So I'm going to make sure I make this yellow text or the text yellow. And that would be kind of have three different uh, layers of sort of depth in a way. So, okay, first of all, we're going to have to erase this one right here a little bit because it's like leaking to the E. You see that? I'm going to erase this a little bit. I should use this. should follow my example. Use my brush. And then there we go. All right. Sweet. So now I have these little three uh, clouds, right? So the reason why I did that, like I said, is I kind of have three points of sort of depth, right? So I have one below this uh, entire text, entire everything, uh, one behind the trees. Realistically, as you saw, it wasn't behind the uh, summer here, but it kind of looks like it's behind the trees still as well. But if I wanted to, I can like flirt with it and put it even b uh, above the trees as well and then sort of erase a little bit. And then this one's in front of everything. And so it kind of has three different tones of like depth of, you know, it. right now I'm just trying to realistically make more space or fill more space in around this entire thing so i'm gonna really quickly also kind of recenter this as best as i can so i'm gonna say this is of course is not the center anymore so i would say this right here is now the new center which looks pretty good still all right so sweet uh really quickly as well i'm gonna actually add in that little space of the r so i'm gonna pencil this r out really quick this little top part just because it's really bothering me and i know it should be penciled uh penciled out uh, it's probably not going to be the best, but we'll just go with that. Rasterize, or excuse me, make selection, fill it in. There we go. There we go. Just a little bit better, right? I don't know. Works for me. All right, sweet. So pretty much at this point, you're almost at the point where you're pretty much like done. Like, of course you can add as much as you guys want. You can add as many different animals or many different stocks, many different trees, who the hell kind of knows, but this right here, if you got this part, if you got this far, I believe this is the hardest part. It's trying to, pretty much trying to create, uh, like, life in a way, right? So I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to use a brush hit, and I'm going to select one of these colors. The way I do that is I'm using my brush tool right now. So I'm on, I'm on my brush tool, which is B on my keyboard for the shortcut. And I'm holding Alt, and I'm right-clicking, or excuse me, is that left? That's definitely left-clicking. And as you can see, I'm sort of like... Just like holding all, and I'm gonna find a color that's pretty good. Like I'm gonna see this, this green right here is pretty good. So I'm gonna take this green. It's a nice little dullish kind of green, right? I'm gonna click maybe twice around, just twice around where the where the uh, the trees are right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and just make this to linear dodge add. Change my layer mode to linear dodge add. Lower my opacity down. And right here we have a little bit of light going. Excuse me, gosh. All right, so new layer, another one, and we're gonna make a nice little foreground color white. Take a nice big soft brush, hit it right on the top. Usually I don't do this anymore. However, it looks really good with this sort of style with a white background. I really suggest you guys to do it as well. But as you can see, just these simple little light tricks kind of just make it look a little more, it just kind of pops a little bit more, right? So I'm going to really quickly as well add in two uh, brightness and contrast and vibrance color corrections. So I'm just going to simply put my contrast up a bit. My brightness is pretty good where it is, to be honest. I'll just say four for now. And then Vibrance, bring this up as well, because we want as much color to pop as much as we can, really. And there we go. I think that looks pretty damn good. So colors are popping out a little bit more. And now we can start filling this banner in a little bit more. So as you can see here, we have realistically this part here, but not like the whole fill in the, the, the other parts, right? Um, really quickly as well, if you guys want to, these uh, what I did for these clouds, I used to put a brightness and contrast to them, clip masked it, and just made it a little more brighter by putting my contrast up. And my brightness sort of have it like you know like that there we go I'm just gonna take it and just duplicate it a couple times and just you know clip mask it to each one of my uh, little clouds there we go now they're all a little more brighter and stuff so um cool first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this stock once again we're gonna need this coconut tree stock again and we're gonna make this coconut tree stock a lot bigger again before we made it a little smaller, but I'm gonna make it bigger. I'm gonna rotate it I'll make it a little bit more smaller And we're gonna go with that. Okay, so on this coconut tree, of course, I'm gonna make another selection So we can actually erase it. I'm gonna take my brush for this I'm I would realistically like I would suggest you guys to always pen tool out your stuff But right now I don't want to like take up too much time, but actually why not? I'll just pen tool it out just a little bit So I'm gonna just pen tool this out a little bit. I'll speed this up just a tiny bit 
But realistically, what I want to do is I'm going to erase this part here, this little stem here. I just want to have the leaf. I want to erase everything else. Oh, I'll show you guys in a second. Let me just erase this. I don't probably even need to speed it up. I just want to make sure I have, you know, something like that going, right? I want to erase this part. So I'm going to go ahead and make selection and fill this in with white, black, excuse me. There we go. Kind of got rid of that little part right there. And like I said, I want to get rid of everything here. I'm going to use my brush for this, however, because I know I don't have to be incredibly clean because I'm going to get rid of a lot of this. So all this is going to go. And put this below everything, by the way. That way you'll see what you're erasing. Because I want to erase in here is everything leading up to around there, right? So as you can see, it sort of makes like it look like there's a big force going on in the background. And that looks pretty good on its own. I'm going to really quickly take a duplicate of it. So I'm holding Alt or Control J or whatever you want to do. And then do the same thing over here on this side. Perfect. Right? Press Enter. I'm going to use my brush again to get rid of these. Well, I'll, I'll get rid of this, that, this. I think everything else can realistically stay. Right? Maybe I'll get rid of that. Perfect. That looks good. All right. Sweet. So... I pretty much took a duplicate of it and just made two really big sort of brushes in the background and this is looking really good so far so i'm gonna really quickly again above everything make a new layer take a nice green from here i'm gonna take a darker green make sure i'm on a soft brush click a couple times right here and put that linear dodge as we have our other uh kind of leaves kind of glowing a little bit more right this is looking good i'm very happy this look is awesome so far all right so i'm gonna add my last stock in that we have over here which is these little birds these birds just came in clutch Filled in space, looked cool, looked very uh, tropical-like. And I'm going to throw this behind uh, everything besides the text. Or everything but the text, right? Okay, cool. So I'm going to take my uh, brush, right? Make sure I use it on black because that will erase it. I'm going to get rid of maybe this one. Can go away. That These can stay. This one's kind of in the way. This is kind of weird going inside something. Let's make sure that this is 100% hardness so I can get rid of it completely. That little bird can stay. Why not? Um, Is there one there? Nope. I think there's only these over here. That's kind of high one. I want to have a little more spacious, nothing overlapping, looking incredibly awkward. But this is looking really awesome so far. We're pretty much done. At this point, I'm going to take everything, holding shift click, of course, and just click on the first layer. Hold shift click so I can select everything in between. Control J to duplicate and then control E to then merge it all together. Go to filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur, go to, just put it on 2%, that's perfectly fine. And then you wanna take your little, I'm just gonna, everything I'm doing is making selections. I'm not erasing it immediately. I'm making a selection of it, uh, excuse me, a, a mask selection of it. That way I can just use my brush, my black brush to erase things. So click, click. Like I said, I wanna have it pretty blurry over here because we did do that incredibly awesome pen tool job, right? And I think this is looking really good. I think we're pretty much at this point almost done. The one things I want to just show you guys how to do really quickly is I just edited my edited my uh my kind of how do you say it my uh, how do you want to say it? It's kind of weird. My text a little bit, right? So what I did was I made a new layer above it, and we're gonna go ahead and just take our brush here, take a nice black brush, and just sort of. Put a brush hit. Am I on it? Oh, this is a different color, isn't it? So I gotta make sure I rasterize it because you can't see clippy mask things over a rasterized text. So make sure you rasterize it. And then our little brush here. So I just put a nice little black brush, erase it a little bit, kind of give the text a little bit more depth as well. And I think that looks pretty good, right? If you want, you can add a secondary color, just clip mask it. Take a color, maybe another like greenish tone-ish, right? And sort of flirt with it a little bit, just like so. Looking good, looking good. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to add really quickly a couple other CCs. So I'm going to add exposure on. I'm going to make my exposure go up a little bit on my, on my off offset here in the middle one. I'm going to put this to 0.85, actually, my gamma. And we're just going to take this and put this up just a tiny bit more, maybe. Perfect. And then we're going to add a color balance. And like I said, I love doing this. I would suggest you do this as well because I, there's a lot of green going on. If you flirt with this a little bit, you'll find yourself getting a nice tone that you really might like, like this tone right here. That looks dumb freaking beautiful. I love that a lot. You see that? Kind of adds a little bit more reddish tone to it. 
looks really dope i'm definitely down and i would suggest that you are pretty much done anything you do after this like i said if you want to fill more space maybe just add the the uh or additional stocks around the actual design banner design and sort of like create it just like that but I really hope I did something good for you guys today. I hope I pleased that one guy who asked for like more manipulation type of tutorial. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy the outcome, the overall kind of thing. It looks really good. I think it looks really, really good, honestly. And I'm, I'm very happy with the outcome of it because it looks even just as cool as my actual example that I took more time on. Um, this is more a little more, a little more color going on here because I did use a vibrance at the end of this and sort of kind of you know made this pop with a lot of color like that that's sort of what i did if you guys want to do that as well go for it but i think it was like a me thing because i'm not sure if everyone would like it like this but if you do just go ahead and do it like that right so thank you guys so much for freaking watching do not forget to follow me on twitter at sysohq do not forget to subscribe me if you have yet already i have a whole bunch of different videos for you guys to choose from with a whole bunch of variety of designs that i feel like you would probably enjoy if you guys like this one as well um of course do not forget to like on the video equals a secret down below i'm not sure if i said that twice this time but i I want to make sure you guys know because I know you guys are already going to hit it. I really do appreciate it. And what are we at right now? We're at 66 to 30. So thank you guys so freaking much. Uh, yeah, check out my Selfie, Selfie.com slash HQ for any pre and packs as well as one buck. My awesome little font that I have out there for $1. So it's really cool. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys once again very, very much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And let me get, let me know because I, I have like maybe two weeks left. Uh, I think my last final for college is on the 14th or the 10th. So well, let me know when you guys go on summer break. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys do good in your finals. I know I need to study because that's a thing. All right. So talk to you guys later. So, so HQ out. Peace.